How you doing folks? So today I want to look at this and this is Dell's patented new, um, well we don't know if it's going to be made but basically it's a two screen detachable device. Think of the Surface Book here but with two screens from Dell. Um, yeah, basically it's going to have two detachable screens. Yeah. Now I had for the longest time this. Yeah, this is Dell's 5520. I love this. This was my main computer. This is an absolute workhorse. Xeon processor, 32 gigs of RAM. Absolutely love this. Now, like I said, my main workhorse. Recently I reviewed the Dell 5530 Precision. Okay? Now, go and watch that review if you haven't already seen it. The only difference between the 5520 and the 5530 was that the 5530 that I reviewed the other week was pen and touch enabled. Now this, um, oh yeah, there was one more difference. The 5530 had a 360 hinge, so basically you could fold it all the way back on itself, which was absolutely brilliant. Now the Surface Book has that detachable screen. Now the new pattern from Dell has a detachable screen as well. So this article from Digital Trends written by Arif Backhouse here, this was posted last month. I, I, I thought about doing a video about it but then decided against it but now that I'm doing uh, daily videos I've decided to revisit this sphere. So let's take a look at this. Basically, um, I'll take a little look through the article, but mainly I'll do what they do and just kind of look at the images and, and kind of comment on those. So the first image is basically, um, think of it like a, a burger. So in the middle, you've got the meat, which is the keyboard section, which will house the processor, the uh, GPU, the hard drives, everything like that um, and on the outside you've got the screen and underneath you've got the screen as well uh, but it's all detachable so yeah that's the first image then secondly this is the kind of main hero image to me uh, and it shows you can put the screen side by side now this is, is kind of important imagine if you're a creative who does something like Premiere so yeah you, on the left hand screen you could have uh, your main video image playing and on the right hand screen you could have your timeline and all your other little palettes there now that's absolutely great even if this is just a straightforward kind of kind of laptop but if this is pen and touch enabled as say the 5530 was then suddenly I can I can do all my illustration on one of the uh, screens and then have the other screen for my Photoshop or my Corel Painter palettes. Now, currently with something like the Surface Book here, currently I have to have this plugged in. I have to have the tablet portion plugged in to take advantage of the GPU and everything like that. Wouldn't it be nice if Dell actually discovered a way to let you take advantage of all of that without it being directly plugged in. Now I think that's pretty impossible but maybe, I don't know, maybe there is some way of doing it. Maybe I, I only need to plug in the tablet I'm, that I'm drawing in but then I can disconnect the other tablet um, that I'm using the palettes on. You know, that doesn't need to take you know advantage of the GPU just to let me use the palettes does it so that's pretty cool I could do that if I was video editing for example you know uh, it doesn't all need to be um, plugged into the GPU just to let me you know uh, use the timeline so again yeah if you're an animator that's particularly useful as well now let me carry on through the images here. The next one just shows you the connectors on the screen. 
It does say in the article that they are magnetic connectors. Again, a lot like the Surface Book that I have next to me here. Now, on the 35, uh, 5530 Precision that I just reviewed, if you go and watch that, um, like I say, it's that kind of 360 hinge like that that just flips over. I did really like, I actually prefer that hinge to the Surface Book hinge because you don't have any weight time for it to disconnect. And the trouble is if you're using an application like Painter or Photoshop or Premiere or anything else, the trouble you have is the Surface Book just goes, no, you're using a GPU heavy, uh, processor heavy uh, application, you have to close it before you can disconnect. Whereas if you're using a flip hinge, you don't have to do that. So, you know, the flip hinge wins. With this, you, I'm guessing you run into that same kind of problem. But it, this is just a pattern to show you the magnetic connector. It's not really showing us anything special. Here, though, is an image showing us that you can basically have one screen facing you and one screen facing away. Now, this is particularly good for, say, if I'm in a meeting. I can. This is the Dell 5520. That was my main workhorse for well over a year. This is, you know... Xeon processor for 2 gigs of RAM, really powerful machine, I did a lot of my YouTube videos on this, brilliant machine. So if this was in that setup right there that you can see on screen, then I'd have, this was facing me, but one screen would be facing you, that way I wouldn't have to constantly be whoops, flipping the laptop around like that. And if those were pen and touch enabled, then you know we could both be working on the same thing or different things at the same time. Maybe you could disconnect them and keep working on them too. I don't know. Maybe they both have to be connected to the keyboard. Maybe they're just screens. Maybe they're tablets. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about that here. But that would be very, very cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to ask questions. Remember, I do Q&A here on the channel as well. And the best questions get read out as videos as well so if you're a subscriber as well make sure to do that but yeah what do you think I think that's absolutely cracking like I say pen and touch enable would be great for us artists but also just in general if this was just a really good performance laptop it'd be great for video editing for animation for all kinds of creative work in general I you know I think this is brilliant and uh, going back to that burger looking image with the meat being the processor um, so if I go down there's not too much I mean most of this is speculation based on the images however there are a couple of things that clearly they've spoken to Dell about um, a portable information handling system which is a horrible term to explain anything as uh, a portable information handling system may include a first display, a second display and a base with an integrated keyboard, a base may also include an integrated component for attaching to and supporting the first and second displays. The attachment may be facilitated by, for example, a channel on the base configured to magnetically attach to and support the displays explains Dell. Well basically this is just what I've said but basically a surface book with an extra display. Um, but their wording is very kind of technical and lawyer kind of sounding but that's what you get with a uh, patent. You know um, when it says explains Dell I don't think Dell actually explained that to me. I think that's what's written on the patent. patent. Um, however you want to pronounce that. The limited size of, because that's how you write things on a, a patent, but that's not how somebody talks. So I think that's what's written on the patent. I don't think Dell's actually explained anything to anybody. The limited size of portable information handling systems, such as laptops, may be configured to connect to multiple external displays through display ports. However, by its nature, a portable information handling system is not likely to be near multiple displays which is uh, which are cumbersome to transport Dell explains um, 
so basically the target audience of this is people who don't want to transport displays to me that sounds like um, gamers gamers don't want to transport displays at all which is interesting because if I scroll back up to this who could, who'd actually like that and um, what does Dell do Dell runs Alienware gamers would really love that I mean, you think now, looking at this, the dual display, Dell have been doing some really interesting stuff. Um, we saw some stuff come out, coming out of CES, and Dell have been doing a lot of monitors recently. Really good monitors with really thin bezels. Now, that, okay, if you look at Dell's recent monitors from this year, the bezels have been really, really thin. You look at that and yeah, okay, two monitors side by side, you'd have a really thick bezel normally. But they could probably get that down to just a few millimeters. So one image stretched over that wouldn't be that bad, would it? With just a few millimeters there. And if you were gaming, one you know, one image going across both screens wouldn't be that bad. And Dell's laptops were super good this year, so in a couple of years' time when they bring this out or next year when they bring this out, if they do, at all, then that would be cool. Nobody would mind that. As a portable gaming system, if this was one of the new Alienwares, yeah, that, that could really rock. I've never had an Alienware system, but I totally would for something like this. And Alienware computers, you know, if you plug that into a Wacom tablet or the Dell Canvas, yeah, that'd really work. And their specs... Gaming specs are normally pretty awesome for artists as well, let's face it. We don't talk about it really, but specs-wise, gamers and artists aren't that different. So I could really see this being an Alienware machine as well, because those guys hunk around monitors all the time. So maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is an Alienware de device. You know, if you could plug in an external GPU to this, I mean... Face it, external GPUs at the moment are pretty much trash. But you know in a couple of years, external GPUs are going to be awesome. So maybe that, maybe this and a next-gen external GPU? <laughs> yeah, okay. And I'm only going off of what I read about external GPUs, because hands up, I've never tried one. It's interesting, I've looked into it a few times. Uh, is there anything else in this article? Um, information handling system. Oh, yeah. You know, every time I read that line, it just sends a twinge through me because it is kind of patent speak. It doesn't mean anything. That's why I don't believe Dell have spoken to these guys. Um, I'm used to reading that kind of thing because I look at patents all the time. Uh, there's nothing else here. Oh, there's a bit underneath. Portable information. I oh, know we read that. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Yeah, no, that's it. So go back up to the images for a minute and just have a final flick through. There's that screen again with the magnetic uh, locks. Again, yeah. Imagine gaming on that. You can see one screen, I can see the other. Ooh. Yeah, you can play battleships on that. Look awesome. <laughs> Whatever the new equivalent is. I don't... Yeah, Minecraft. It's what me and my little boy have been playing. He's only free, though. He loves it. Um, okay, so, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about from a digitalized point of view. I think it'd be cool in the ways that I said. Let me know what you think. But as a gaming tool as well, you know, a lot of dual purpose. You know, it'll probably end up being some boring office tool. You know, for presentations and that. But for video editing, for animation, even just for gaming, this could be very awesome. Let me know what you think it's for. Let me know what you'd like it to be for. It's a pattern. At this point, it could be open to interpretation. It could be for anything. We could have our say. Dell do watch my videos. 
So, realistically, if we come up with some good ideas here, then you never know if somebody's going to take a look at this and say, hey, that's a good idea, let's do that. Just a thought. Put it in the comments below, remember to ask your questions, and if it's a good enough question and everybody in the community can benefit from the answer, then I'll turn it into a video and uh, give you an answer, give the community an answer in a video. Remember to be a subscriber and your chances of me creating that video will go up a thousand percent. Remember to keep being creative and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye for now.